Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, the 21st of August, and I hope that every one of you were able to listen to Friday's video and were able to practice the stop, drop, sit, connect with your breath, understand that you and your positioning in the universe, adjusting your attitude before you gave it altitude, and that you can continue that through this, this week. Okay, so the importance of understanding that yes, everything is climate control and it is up to you to adjust that climate, your responses to the climate around you, your temperature before you transmit that back out again. So you're creating harmony within your own energetic balances. Now, yes, we've got planetary alignments that affect people. You know, when I started following astrology, don't even tell me how long ago that was, but Mercury is my ruling planet. And it got to the point many decades ago that I could know when Mercury was about to go into retrograde or that it was affecting me based on how I felt. And then later it would be confirmed through looking at a chart or just reading or hearing about it. And then, of course, as many of you know my story, 2017, I allowed all the compartments to exit and I made a choice on how I was going to respond and not assume that the planets had that much control over me, that I was going to have control over whatever climate du jour, whatever special of the day was being presented in any, any place that I would be. So, don't fall into the traps that everything that's going on around you has that much of a profound effect because you truly, truly, without a doubt, have absolute control over your dial. Absolute control over your dial. And that requires practicing stop, drop, sit, connecting with that breath, becoming aware of your energetics and the interaction of the energetics around you so that you are fully focused and honing in your lenses and your dial of what is going on externally through your internal responders. Okay? So we all have control over that. And we have an opportunity to be the example to others, to children. And when I say children, they could be babies all the way up to the inner child within you. So there's a lot of awakening going on. And we're talking a lot about the children awakening, the children, the children. And then there's just a lot of what is a children? What is a children's, right? Is it birth to five? Is it five to 10? Is it a tween? Is it a teen? Is it a young adult? You know, or is it the inner child within you? And spirit tells me it's the awakening of the children. It's the awakening of the child within you, no matter what age you are. And understanding that you truly possess every tool within you. And learning to understand that those are talents they're not gifts, but you are gifted in using the talent if you learn to really connect with your breath and learn to read the barometer, the climate, the temperature of what's going on around you, taking responsibility and holding yourself accountable that you will be the, the deciding factor, the dial 
that is the calm within the storms and the multitudes of storms in many multi-dimensional levels above and below and that you will weather no matter what it is you will weather it all and you will stay in the best condition because you are a spiritual athlete something I said four years ago you are a spiritual athlete learning how to work with the daily mind and grind physical mental emotional so that you stay spiritually connected and that's your number one priority is to stay spiritually connected which will guide your physical will help you guide your emotions right it's one of the reasons why I do emotional release techniques aka plus past life regression work regression work to empty out the storage containers every nook and cranny of them so that you make space make room for all the goodness that's there already there all the liquid gold that's already in your brain it's just smushed over into other places because it's taken up by the daily grind and getting through the race of the week so any hoo-ha just you know know that you've got every single tool within you you just may need to reach out to someone like myself or others that can teach you how to to really hone it in and become all that you desire to be and that beacon of loving light that you are and learn how to work your gauge when to really shine brightly when to maybe adjust it within the climate around you so that you can bob and weave and ride the ways of life yes indeedy so you just keep all that in mind you know where to find me i need you to like subscribe and share so these videos circulate more in the algorithm and in the meantime be like swiss cheese and enjoy your whole day. <laughs> All right. Much love. Much love. Leave me a comment, even if it's a mm or a or a wave. All right. See you on the next video. Bye.